Are we under attack? Preacher <laughs> put two bucks on the ground and tripled the third when he fired his pistol. He grabbed up his second brace to let them roar, but his left hand gun was a clean miss and his right hand gun misfired. Richard fired. The ball catching a brave in the stomach and stopping the cold. The missionary stood rock still for a second, stunned at the gore he caused. The preacher was on his feet, his long blade knife at the ready when the buck came tearing at him, a war axe in his hand. The preacher sidestepped the blow from the axe and cut the buck across the back, from his shoulder down to his buttocks, the big blade slicing deep. The Indian fell and rolled on the ground, coming to rest near Penelope. Reaching out, he clamped one hand around her ankle. But Edmund picked up a rock about the size of a grapefruit and smashed the buck on the head. The preacher jumped for his hawk and it cocked it, leveling the 54 caliber rifle just as the brave leaped out. Ah! Reload, goddammit! Edmund, see to the horses! The preacher dropped the rifle and hurriedly set to work trying to charge his pistols. Across the campsite, Melody spotted a brave level in his bow. Preacher, look out! <laughs> The preacher threw himself to one side and the arrow embedded itself into a tree. The preacher charged the lone brave and clubbed him with his pistol, smashing his head on the way down. Turning to check on Edmund, the preacher realized that the man had never made it to the horses. He was on the ground, unconscious, and a Blackfoot was grappling with Richard beside him. Richard was holding on to the buck's wrists. The Blackfoot kneed him in his groin and the man went down. Melody grabbed up a burning brand from the fire and jammed it against the engine's arm. The brave backhanded her in the face, knocking her down. The preacher leveled his pistol. The ball struck the brave in the head, tearing away part of his jaw and slamming the man to the ground. A young buck, armed with only a war axe, took a vicious swing at the preacher. The preacher clubbed him with the butt of his hawk, just as another brave jumped onto his back. He tried to ride Preacher down, but the mountain man was able to flip the brave off his back. Buck hit the ground, rolled, and came to his feet, just in time to receive the full length of Preacher's knife in his belt, cutting the edge up. Preacher jerked the knife upward, the heavy blade ripping through stomach and into lung and heart. Blackfoot was dead before he stretched out on the cold ground. The fight was over.